Hi, my name is Dr. Lori Badino. I am a licensed clinical psychologist, a board certified dance movement therapist, and I am a wife and a mom. I've been working for over a decade with children in private practice and in a hospital setting. I've seen developmental and behavioral challenges, childhood disorders, trauma, chronic illness, and life-threatening diseases. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the human body can help heal itself through movement, dance and movement therapy to be exact. Dance movement therapy provides therapeutic benefit for optimal health. Defined as a therapeutic use of movement in the process that furthers the emotional, cognitive, and physical integration of the individual. Think about it. We experience life and express ourselves through physical movement. It's a fundamental part of human history. Did you know that dance accompanied ancient rituals, spiritual gatherings, and social events? Movement was and is an integral way of expressing ourselves and connecting with our world. Just this last year, the Dalai Lama danced for peace, Ellen DeGeneres danced for cancer, and Michelle Obama danced for obesity. Dance and movement therapy was introduced into Western medicine in the 1940s and is now in over 37 countries. The field acknowledged that mind and body are interconnected and that when a patient is supported to move, bring awareness to his body, and express emotions through the body, he will improve his quality of life, resulting in a positive mood, body image, and capacity for empathy. The patient will learn ways to manage stress, reduce pain, improve academic performance, medical, psychomotor, and neurological functioning. Take a look at all that's been acknowledged. Agnes DeMille, Carl Welsh, Dr. Peter Levine, Dr. Daniel J. Siegel, Dr. Adele Diamond. Movement and dance activate the motor cortex, the somatosensory cortex, the basal ganglia, and the cerebellum. Dancing involves both a mental effort and a social interaction. This therapy has a capacity to activate skills of executive functioning, such as motor planning, cognitive flexibility, as well as creativity and social play. So how can you benefit from dance movement therapy? Here's where the Andrea Rizzo Foundation comes in. Established in memory of Andrea Rizzo, the foundation is a nonprofit organization which raises funds to provide dance movement therapy to children with cancer and special needs in hospitals, schools, and medical settings throughout the country. Dance movement therapy helps babies to make connections support sensory integration, regulation, and attachment needs. Older children learn ways to cope, comply with medical needs, express emotions, have control over their bodies, and increase communication. Teens and adults benefit from a sense of autonomy, receive assistance in normalizing the hospital experience, and can discover ways to naturally manage pain. Here is Natalie in her hospital room. You don't see the cancer but you do see her restricted movement, sitting in bed hooked up to IV poles and medical tubes. Her body is in a defensive stance protecting her from the emotional challenges of having a medical illness. Now you see her with her dance movement therapist. Her senses are heightened and a connection is made to allow any of her body movements to be accepted and explored. Her emotions are communicated and a transformation takes place. How can you help? You can start by seeking out dance movement therapists as a supplement to the medical and emotional needs of your child. Or you can help provide services to those in need by donating to the Andrea Rizzo Foundation. And contact me, therapy at drlauribadino.com. Embody your experiences for integration and connection. Let's all move together.